Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is a little bit of a room tour. Just redid my shelves. It took me a while, but I finally got them to a place where I'm pretty happy with them. I also don't think I'm getting anything new soon, so now is as good a time as any to kind of walk you through each shelf one at a time. So buckle up while I walk you through my madness. So let's start off with my Ninja Turtle section. I talk about this, a reference a lot on the channel. This is my shrine to the Ninja Turtles. Here we have the 2000 and I don't know, I think it was 2011 or 12. Actually, no, I think it was before that. Maybe 2008, the Playmates Classics. Down here we have the original four turtles. We have the 2003 turtles. Then we have the 2012 turtles with some actually kind of other little random turtles mixed in there. Coming down, I've got my fourth scaled NECA turtles. I got these when they came out and I love them. They are probably one of the coolest pieces of my collection. I don't even think of them as toys. I think of them more as art. Like they look like tiny little statues. They look like the movie come to life. I absolutely love these turtles right here. Moving down here, I've got just different iterations of the four turtles. So I've got my raft collection right here. So you might notice the seven inch NECA and the back, this is basically a smaller version of that one. I've got the DC Comics one right there that I got from Kevin. Um, I have, these are the NECA cartoon ones. I've got the uh, SH figure art one. And then this is the small one for the scale baby turtle. Here I've got the uh, Michelangelo Batman one. Here's my Mikey collection here. Same kind of things, so movie, cartoon, DC Comics, the neck uh, figure arts one. Moving here, I have Donatello. He's, man, I really like the way Donatello looks most of the time. The movie turtle, that one, that one, they all look great. And then finally, we got Leonardo. I still have him holding the battering from the little photo op I did. I'll probably take it off at some point, but I kind of like him holding a battering for some reason. Moving down to the next shelf, I have some robots. I've got my GoBots right here, our Action Robo. Those are third-party Transformers that they kind of made uh, GoBots out of. Down here, I've got my Action Robo figures. So these are basically GoBots, but the original Japanese ones. These are more recent ones, kind of updates. I like them a lot. I don't have a full collection, but I got a lot of them. Here, I've got the uh, Gundam Universe figures so far. So far, these are the only ones I've been super interested in. Um, Grandpa Gundam and then the two Gundam Wing figures. I'll probably not get any of the Unicorn Gundam ones, but we'll see. Down here, I've got more of the NECA cartoon uh, turtles. I got Bebop and Rocksteady, Shredder, Krang, some foot soldiers. And then here, I've got my uh, Super 7 He Man Master of the Universe Ultimates. So I got He Man and Tila back there. Skeletor, of course. And then down here, I've got some uh, loyal subjects. He-Man figures, I like those. Moving down here, these are my Tamashi Nations movie realization figures. The Darth Vader in the back is a KO, so it's me by Papa Gord, but the rest are not KO. So I've got the Darth Maul there, I've got the Jango Fett, that Stormtrooper, and then the uh, Iron Man here. Here I've got some figure art, my only two figure art Dragon Ball Z figures. Uh, Krillin was sent to me by um, Ernest Murray Jackson and Vegeta was actually my very first SH figure I'd ever bought. In the back here, I've got my Legend of Zelda Figmas, uh, Link and Zelda, and then I've got a Kanikuman or a Ultimate Muscle. I think he was sent to me by James Lore. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure that was it. Here we have the Batman collection from the uh, DC animated movie Batman vs. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I don't really know what else to do with them, but I like them kind of combined in a little thing. And then over here, these are my Mythic Legions. So I've got the Argamedes, that's my newest one up there at the top. Um, I cannot remember her name right now. I'll probably put it on the screen, but uh, uh, she's actually one of my favorite figures in the bunch. I just like the, the wings, the armor is great. I got my two cat dudes here. I got my trap jaw guy there. And then down here, this is the uh, Dwarf King uh, Bromden, I believe. And then the Goblin King right there. 
And then I've got the Goblin, I think it's, I think it's Thump or Thwump, something like that. Moving on down, this is my Marvel Legends collection. So you can see over here, I've got Silver Surfer and then the new Doctor Doom. My very first Marvel Legend here is the Iron Skull. And then some bad guys, I got Doc Ock and Omega Red back there. I've got Abomination, who's my very first Build-A-Figure. And then Sauron, who's my favorite Build-A-Figure. In the back, I've got the Fantastic Four, including Herbie. I've got some various X-Men characters in the Black Knight. I just really like the Black Knight, actually. Next, I've got just like some more X-Men characters here. These are all 90s, most of them are 90s X-Men designs. I don't have the 90s Colossus yet because I just haven't wanted to pony up the 60 bucks for that two pack. But uh, I've gotten a lot of the 90s collection because I really, really like them. And then down at the bottom, I have my 12 inch Marvel Legends figures. The ones that I got though, I didn't get them all, obviously. And then I've got a little Deadpool on a scooter. The little robot in the back is the last thing I ever bought from Toys R Us back when that was a thing. It's one of the Pacific Rim robots. I couldn't tell you which one. And then here, lastly on this shelf, I've got Ghost Rider, who is oof, really good. I really like him a lot. Next, we're moving on to some Transformers here. This is my uh, Wei Jiang Omega Supreme. Then I've got, these are all my big bots here. This is my favorite Optimus Prime. I've got the Planet of Cybertron with Hedwig kind of hanging out on it. Um, I've got, uh, this is the Unique Toys Abominus. This, that's the Wei Jiang KO uh, Predaking back there. That's the Wei Jiang oversized uh, movie last night, Megatron. And then I've got this little guy right here whose name is Medic, and he actually came with the uh, Omega Supreme. <laughs> I just like him. He doesn't transform or anything, but he's a fun little guy. Here I've got this Wei Jiang Megatron, who's probably the best Megatron ever made. Just in terms of, you know, he's not super hard to transform. Uh, he looks good in both modes. Yeah, I really like him. This is the Make Toys Masterpiece styled Megatron. I like him because he's a little beefier. And then finally at the top, we have Trypticon. Moving down with Ghost Nappa, we have my Optimus Prime shelf. You can see in the back, that's the uh, oversized Wei Jiang Optimus Prime, the MP01, and then the Unique Toys Challenger in the back. In the middle, we've got the MP10. Second from the end is the uh, Transform Element Op Leader. Then we have the Magic Square Light of Freedom. And then we have the IDW version from, uh, I don't remember his name, I think it was Op X from Generation Toy. Down here, this is, uh, I think, Fans Project, uh, Positrum, or Positrum. Uh, I think that's his name, but he's basically the alligator version of Optimus Prime that was in one episode. And then we got some little legend scaled Optimus Primes and a little Optimus Prime figurine. In the middle, we have the Walmart exclusive kind of reissue. We have the Make Toys Striker Manus, who's one of my favorite Optimus Primes. And then the uh, Bumblebee one. The only two official Optimus Primes on here. I guess I've got the G1 reissue, but the only three official Optimus Primes I have are this one, this one, and this one. Everything else, oh, I guess this one too. Uh, but everything else is uh, not official. Moving down, I've got my Dino Bots. These are the Giga Power ones. In the middle, I just got Grimlock. He is amazing. Next to that, we've got Slag. Snarl, Swoop, and Sludge. I really like these guys. I'm happy to finally have them all kind of completed. Down here with these are Wheeljack and Ratchet, the creators of the Dinobots in the cartoon. Down here is a Roller because I like the, this look of Roller, and but he belongs to the Optimus Prime up on the top up here. So I, I didn't really want to separate them, but at the same time, I, I can't see him from up there, so I put him down here. And then we have our bots and shot shot glasses right here. Moving down, we've got some various masterpiece scaled Autobots. Here I've got the Fans Toys Phoenix. At the back, I've got some MP, that's Inferno and Tracks. Those are official. Then we got Open Play Springer. Then we have the official Masterpiece Ultra Magnus. And then we've got Red Alert and the G2 Sideswipe. Uh, that Mirage is the MMC. Sphinx, that's the official Sunstreaker and Hot Rod and Ironhide. This is the Make Toys Jazz. Downbeat, I believe, is his name. We have the first version of Bumblebee. I don't like the second one, so this is the one I'm keeping. 
Then I've got the uh, X Transbots Beachcomber, a little Raul and Blaster down there, and then Prowl. And then behind him, Smokescreen. Down here are just some various Autobots. We've got some Beast Wars characters like uh, Optimus Primal. That's the Optimal Optimus. And then Masterpiece Cheetor. We've got Generation Springer. That's the uh, Guardian version of Fort Max. That's the Perfect Effect. Both of these are Perfect Effect characters right here, or figures. Down here I've got three of the uh, Mech Fans Toys Dinobots. This is also a KO Dinobot. I don't remember the name of that one right now. That's the G1 reissue of Hot Rod. And then I have Ectotron, of course. And then uh, this little, I think Azalea or something, little Legions class uh, Fembot. Then MP Optimus Primal, the regular Beast version. And then back here, my very, actually second third party figure. This is the Quantron. This is Make Toys. Oh no, fan, no. Yeah, this is Make Toys Quantron. Computron is my favorite combiner. Next at the top up here we have some Masterpiece Scale Decepticons. We have Toy World Devastator and the Unique Toys Bruticus. They are very large. I love them both. Coming down here, that's a KO of the MP Megatron. Here we have an official Soundwave Masterpiece. That's x Bot's Breakdown, Make Toys Starscream. An official uh, first, first version of Skywarp. That's the Cloud Dime Shockwave. Then we have the uh, MMC tapes and official tapes, but actually those are KOs. Uh, the laser beaks not, but the others are because they're, I didn't want to buy them. And then the uh, MMC Jaguar and then a little, uh, little Megatron there. Coming down one more shelf, we have Siege figure. I love Siege. Siege is fantastic. It earned a spot in my collection, prominently displayed. I've got Jetfire back there along with Optimus. Ultra Magnus and Springer. And then I've got a bunch of different ones here. We got Red Alert, we got Six Gun, Chromia, Ironhide, Mirage, Optimus Prime, whose head is turned for some reason. I don't really know what's up with that. Prowl, Sideswipe, Ratchet, lots of, lots of Hound, lots of guys down here. One shelf lower, I have the Decepticon versions of all those. So you've got Soundwave, Megatron, the Three Seekers, uh, Shockwave in the middle, Brunt, Spinister, who's fantastic, Skytread, who's really flywheels, and then over here we've got Reflector, Refractor, Ape Face. They're all good. And then down here I just have some random uh, Decepticons. We got MMC Overlord back there, the MMC Heart of Steel, Starscream, the Perfect Effect uh, Megatron from Beast Wars, some oversized figures, the Make Toys. Despotron Rider, who is probably one of the coolest Megatrons. That's not an official Megatron. Uh, G1 reissue of Soundwave. Nemesis Prime. The Toy World Bulldog, who's a fantastic... He's not actually a Decepticon. I don't know what he's doing down here, but that's where he ended up, I guess. We got some random masterpiece in here. I didn't really know what to do with all these, so I just kind of put them together all at once. Okay, moving on. I've got my TIE Fighter. This is all Star Wars now. Um, so I've got my first order TIE Fighter, it's just huge. Honestly, it's, it's really hard to get a scale, but this is my hand. <laughs> I've got a large hand and I, I can't pick this up one-handed like this. Uh, below that, I've got all my first order sequel figures on the side, some little guys are hiding. Got a bunch of Kylo Ren's in the back. I got my uh, Commander Pyre hanging out back there, I really like him. And then some more little figures, my Snow Troopers and Flame Trooper back there. Moving one down, this is a diorama sent to me by uh, my buddy Hi there. Actually, those are Figuarts uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 sent to me. I'm pretty sure James Lure sent those to me. But I got just uh, some random figures to kind of fill out this diorama. I, I put DJ from, I just thought it was kind of fun having him peeking his head out of an open door like that. A lot of just odds and ends characters that don't really fit in any specific place. I kind of put them in here. This does light up. I know I showed it off once, but I'm gonna show it off again because it's rad. So this is the party mode. I can change it to whatever color I want. And uh, Ed put a lot of work into this and I absolutely love it. It's definitely one of the crown jewels of my collection. Got a little remote here. Down here is, I, I guess my favorite shelf. I don't have a theme for this shelf. So I have the bounty hunters right here. And then uh, prototype Boba Fett. 
On the front here, I've got Mandalorian characters. Got Jaina Solo back there. And then my Star Wars Rebels characters right here. In the back, I've got Darth Revan. And then here is the Early Bird 40th Anniversary figure set. But these are not all 40th Anniversary versions. A lot of them are just the regular ones out of my collection. Down here, I have the Empire figures. So just all Stormtroopers, Jump Troopers, Death Troopers, Shore Troopers, the Emperor and Darth Vader, some of the officers kind of hanging out in the back here. One of the things I wanted to say about this new setup is ever since I've kind of redone it, uh, everything's been a lot more stable and I've been using boxes, Black Series boxes to kind of prop things up so you can see them in the back. I need to do that back here for sure. Uh, just to give them a little bit more height in the back. Then down here, I'm using some Black Series boxes again to kind of prop them up. I have to say, since doing this, I, I might be jinxing it here, but none of these have really randomly fallen over. I don't know why all these guys are looking this way. That's kind of weird. I got my uh, clone troopers here. I've got my Jedi and other random prequel good guys. So like Mace Windu, the Obi-Wan, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Padme, and then the uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan from episode one. Back here, I've got some randos like Darth Maul, the Senate guard whose face is super dark. You can't really see these guys. I should get lighting or something. Uh, I'm really proud of General Grievous ever since putting him here. I think he's fallen maybe once, but that wasn't his fault. I think something fell on him and then he fell because of that. So he's been a champ ever since putting them up here. I'm really, really proud of him. So these battle droids, but I'm kind of cheating with them and I have them on these little stands. Up here at the top of my last one, I've got Ray's speeder and Emphis Nest with her speeder. I love these two. I like the vehicles. I really hope that Hasbro keeps doing those. Next to that is an Imperial Patrol speeder that was 3D printed and painted by a viewer. He did a fantastic job. I've shown this off on my channel before. One step down, I've got some speeder bikes and then my do back. In the back is that Disney kind of Elite Series 12 inch Death Trooper. I don't do with it, but it was on sale at the Disney store, um, so I bought it. It was dirt cheap. And then here I've got the Hyper Real Darth Vader. I love this figure a lot. If you can get him for a good price, I highly recommend snagging him. One shelf down. These are my kind of uh, visual play sets. A lot of the figures that Hasbro's done, or some of the figures, not a lot, but some of the figures Hasbro's done have come with like little dioramas, like this Luke came with a little base. Got some porgs here to put around it. I've got the uh, Ray from the, the island journey to go with it. I've got Ray and Kylo Ren duking it out in the Kmart exclusive here. And then the Toys R Us exclusive Ray back there. I like these a lot, even though it's basically Ray three times on the shelf. Moving one down, I have my Return of the Jedi shelf. So I've got the uh, very popular Luke Skywalker here, the Jedi Luke, brand new. Leia is Bausch back there, which is apparently a figure a lot of people missed. So, I mean, I can see why. The, that phase of Black Series figures did not get a lot of release. I think I ordered mine online back when it was a, a thing from Entertainment Earth, but uh, I never saw her once in the store, so I get that. Got the Gamorrean guard back there in the corner, Princess Leia in her uh, slave outfit, a little Jabba to kind of round things out, uh, Lando and as a skiff guard, I got my Jabba the Hutt, the first Luke Skywalker of the Jedi Knight, and then the Emperor's Wrath Darth Vader, my Yoda and Obi-Wan ghosts. I've got my Emperor that I fixed up with the newer Emperor. I put the, a new head and lightning hands on him, but he's the old Emperor body. And then that's the uh, European exclusive Luke Skywalker. It's the Yavin Luke, but with a bunch of extra stuff. But I kept him in the box and I just kept have him back there. I like him a lot though. One down, this is a kind of a joint, a new hope and Empire Strikes Back shelf. Over here in the front, I've got some Yavin pilots and a Rebel Blockade Runner and Yavin Luke, because that's pretty much the extent to just my New Hope characters. In the back, I've got uh, Tauntaun, Bespin Luke. I've got the Dagobah R2 and then the Yoda here. That's the archive one because he has a better face. Here, I've got some more Empire Strikes Back characters. I've got Lando, I've got the Bespin Escape Leia, and then the new Chewbacca. Up here at the top, I've got Hoth, Luke, and Han with the Wampa. And then down here, I've got Bespin, Han, and Hoth Leia. And then moving down, I've got just kind of an odds and ends. This is a video game slash just random droid shelf. I've got the Purge Stormtrooper 
and the second sister, both the regular and the carbonized version. I like having them both out so I can display them both ways. And then in the back, I've got Cal Kestis. It's probably going to be my next review. I've got one of the Coke bottles from Galaxy's Edge back there. It looks like a thermal detonator. And then just a bunch of droids from different packs. Down here, I have some resistance figures. I've got, you know, the Chewbacca, Leia, Admiral Holdo, everyone's favorite Rose, the new Leia, Kara, the new C-3PO with Babu Frick. Babu Frick is some, there he is. There's Babu. All right, and then moving down, I've got some Rogue One characters. We really need a Bodhi Rook. You can see the Kmart um, Jin Erso back there. She does not stand on that thing, and her legs are all kinds of messed up because of it. And over here, last but not least on the shelf, I've got my Solo characters. And again, we're missing a couple characters here, but overall, I really like the showing from Solo. Next, I, I wanna show off, these are my uh, customized figures and Darth, Darth Maul kind of fell over. Uh, I've got a couple of viewers that have sent me customized figures. This actually isn't a customized figure, it's just a model kit put together by uh, my buddy Tony, but I put it here anyway. This is a, uh, a couple of these were sent to be my by Stigma Custom Collectibles. This one, the C-3PO, the TC-14, and then this Darth Maul were all made by Stigma Custom Collectibles. He did a fantastic job. The 3 po is probably my favorite. I actually think that this Luke might be a little bit better than uh, the Han, but he is a little tall for Luke, but that's because he used the young Han's body. But he did a great job with the paint. This is the regular Luke body with a custom wedge Antilles head that I stuck on there. Uh, it looks good and it's basically the exact same as the one Hasbro made, but you know, without the uh, the 3D uh, the digital printing on the face. But I was kind of, that's why I was kind of disappointed with the wedge here. Um, other than coming with a really cool flight helmet, I was a little disappointed they, li they used literally the exact same body. I know a lot of people argue that it's fine, but it kind of bugs me just a little bit. And then the last but not least, uh, Centurion's Corner sent to me this waxer and boil custom figures and they're some of my favorites. I had to travel to London to get them, but worth the trip. That's actually not why I traveled there, but it happened to just work out. And then down here, I've got some other random Star Wars stuff. These are the Disney Infinity characters. Ernest Murray Jackson sent me pretty much a whole collection. I really like them and I put them on display because he kind of challenged me uh, to do so. I, I like these a lot. They look really, really cool. Down here, these are the uh, Galaxy of Heroes or Galaxy of Adventures characters. So far, I'm only collecting the official kind of um, original trilogy. I'm not delving into prequels or sequel trilogy, but that might change. But I'm, I'm keeping it this way because I do like them, but not enough to collect all of them, you know? But I will say that C-3PO is easily the worst one of the bunch. He does not stay together because his gimmick is falling apart and it just kind of works a little too well. And then down here, these are the Disney toy box figures and I really like them a lot. They're basically the Disney Infinity characters, but uh, you can't see Darth, he's in, the, he's in the shadows back there. But they're basically the Disney Infinity characters, but toys. And then here I have my lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge that I made. I really like this thing. It was worth the $200 for the experience alone. It's got a good heft to it. It's made out of metal. It's got a plastic inner with the electronic components, but the outer is uh, definitely metal, which is really cool. Oops, almost knocked some figures over. And then it, it turns on a little switch right here. And I got the purple crystal in there. Yeah, I definitely like this. So that's it for my room tour. Now these aren't all the toys in my apartment. I've got some in the living room, but uh, they're not ready to get shown off yet. So just be content with this is what's behind me. So you can kind of see everything that's there. I really enjoyed putting these up and it's not a done deal by any means. I still have a lot of tweaking to do. I'm gonna get new toys at some point. So I gotta figure out what stays and what goes. But in the meantime, this is what's behind me. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed walking through it and watching through it, all that fun stuff. It was a lot of fun to do. Let me know down in the downstairs area, are there any of these you want me to review? Kevin sent me a bunch of Ninja Turtles recently and I promised him I'd have like a Ninja Turtles month. I also wanted to review some Transformers again because it's been a while since I've done that and that's actually what I started doing on this channel in the first place. So if there's anything in here you want me to review, um, go ahead and just let me know, just so I know there's some interest because it's a lot of work to do a review and I don't want to do one if there's not a lot of interest in it. I'd like to take a moment to just thank all the Patreon supporters on my Patreon page. You guys are incredible. 
these are the people there. If you would like to join them, you can. There's even a level on there where you can request a review and I pretty much have to do it because you paid me for it. And with that, thanks so much for getting this far. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.